Hi Sagittarius, welcome. This is Padita Ro and I'm here to do your reading for the month of October 2024. Uh, I've already drawn your cards and I've meditated on your energy. So let's jump right into your message. Now your overall energy for the month of October is the Five of Cups. And clarifying that we have the Three of Wands, uh, the Hermit and the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like uh, Sagittarius overall there is a bit of sadness and... Uh, there is a sense of loss about an energy that you've been trying to collaborate with. Uh, there is somebody who you have been wanting to work in a team with, uh, with the Three of Wands, but uh, it's been difficult. And with the Hermit, I feel like you're trying to look into the cause for or the reason for which this collaboration has been difficult. Um, you know, I see your desire on your part to work in a team with this person. But uh, with the Five of Cups being the overall energy, I feel like overall there is a sense of loss when it comes to dealing with this person. But regardless, with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like, you know, you've done some introspection and, you know, this is yes. So this is a yes energy. So you want to put in the effort. You, you don't want to do too much, but you still continue to put in effort towards this partnership or this person that you're dealing with regardless of how uh, how it's making you feel. Uh, now, in your present, uh, we have the Eight of Cups and clarifying that we have Judgment, Queen of Cups and the Emperor. So again, I see, you know, this, is de this, this reading is definitely about a relationship and about a second chance, a relationship being given a second chance. And um, I, I, I see, with the Page of Pentacles being the overall energy, there's definitely someone who's putting in effort and you know trying to give this a second chance but with the eight of cups being you know the present um, energy there is something is not feeling right uh, because there is an over over there is an underlying um, energy of disappointment when it comes to this connection the eight of cups is you know doing something but not understanding why something doesn't feel right and that is because we are disconnected from our heart space so somebody is emotionally withdrawn in this process of giving the relationship a second chance and i'm sure about this being a second chance because it's showing up in the past with the tower clarifying that we have death the three of pentacles and the four of wands so there was definitely something established in the past something somewhat stable and solid um you know there was uh, teamwork between you and this person which you are trying to re-establish at this point in time or at least the other person you're dealing with if not the both of you but this was already established in the past with the three of pentacles and the four of wands but with the tower and and you know with death i feel like there was a sudden uh, separation or something that you know disrupted what you and this person had set up uh, it doesn't have to literally be a home or an establishment it, it, is, it is just the stable energy that comes from you know the four of wands I'm so sorry about the announcement outside you guys it's Durga Puja here where I live and it's just perpetually noisy and I was just hoping to get in uh, just a 10 minute uh, uh, you know break from the mic but it's literally impossible and I, I don't have any quiet place to get the readings out so you'll have to hear this person outside and thank you for your patience Sagittarius so um, in the past whatever you and this person had established was disrupted uh, with the three of pentacles here there could have been some interfering energies or some other energies that were discovered because you know I'm being drawn to the flashlight in this person's hand in the three of pentacles and the tower is about secrets coming out so you might have someone might have found out something or there might have been a realization about this connection or relationship and things kind of fell apart now this is the past now what you're headed towards in the future is some change uh, with the wheel of fortune showing up I feel like Sagittarius luck is on your side um, and um, the universe is bringing in 
a much needed change uh, for you with with the wheel of fortune and clarifying this we have the four of pentacles the knight of cups and the nine of cups so i want to say that you know initially when the change does come uh, sagittarius you might be a little closed off or you might try to uh, you might try to hold on to what you are comfortable which is the past but ultimately with the knight of cups following the four of pentacles i feel like you're going to budge and you're going to you know let go whatever it is that you excuse me whatever it is that you need to let go of with the knight of pentacles and with the nine of cups following that i feel like you're going to be happy uh, i was wondering if this page of pentacles in your overall energy is connected to the the wheel of fortune in the immediate future and i feel like it is uh, you know something is picking up pace something is starting to grow something is starting to work and i feel like it's this person that you're trying to uh you know this relationship that that you and this person are trying to kind of redeem um uh, because the page of pentacles to the knight of pentacles is definitely progress and i see you being happy about it but you're first having to let go of something with the four of uh, pentacles which you will figure what it will be um now um what is slowing you down uh, in general or what is kind of uh, moving slowly for you rather than slowing you down is we is the six of swords so generally you know i see here uh, you know a mature if, if not a mature at least pe two people who want to give each other a second chance want to let bygones be bygones make peace uh, the the six of swords is like mentally processing the loss uh, you know and there is an attempt uh, uh, by you sagittarius to kind of process the loss that has happened uh, about what again we have a match here clarifying this we have uh, the hangman the king of swords and the queen of pentacles so again there's two people and with you know with the hangman it's like it's like work is stuck or things are stuck between the two of you guys things are not progressing especially when it comes to letting bygones be bygones and kind of moving on it's been overall a slow process moving on uh, that is what has been slow now what is propelling you forward sagittarius is the nine of wands the fact that you know you are willing to kind of still move forward and give it your all you know you're showing a lot of um, diligence in this situation with the nine of wands you could be drained uh, in your soul uh, you know physically even you could be feeling a bit worn out with the nine of wands but clarifying this we have the page of we have the we have the fool clarifying this we have the fool the three of cups and the queen of swords and what i want to show you is the fool has his or her back turned towards the three of cups and the queen of swords so i feel like you're leaving behind uh, a, a certain connection or people that you know don't kind of serve you anymore or make you happy uh i feel like it's somebody because the queen of swords is there i feel like this is uh, some somebody or a group of people you had to draw boundaries with and you know the queen of swords is somebody who irrespective of your gender it's somebody who's been hurt and has had to learn lessons and ultimately draw healthy boundaries and i feel like with the fool you know fool's back towards the three of cups and the queen of swords i feel like you're leaving behind uh, sagittarius a uh, a hurt version of yourself um and also possibly some people that could have potentially hurt you uh and this is working in your favor and propelling you forward now uh what we have as your advice is the high priestess and over here it is directly saying you know it's writ it's written here uh it says uh work secretly or when you will work secretly with the high priestess so sagittarius i feel the need to tell you that you know keep your cards close to your chest and the combination clarifying this is a bit scary i mean i don't mean to mean to create panic but we have the knight of swords five of swords and the two of swords ugh the knight of swords is somebody who is you know a rival um um this is somebody who is hostile aggressive just attacks that doesn't think uh you know before saying anything jumps could be even a bully you know uh and with the knight of swords in the reverse and the five of swords here i feel like sagittarius you have some 
not so nice people around you <laughs> to put it politely these are just people that don't have your best interest at heart that you could be in a situation where you could be dealing with um, just uh, reckless people reckless knight of swords in the reverse and uh, five of swords and with the two of swords following that the advice is to block you know and if there is a decision that you need to make with regards to these energies then you know make the decision and move on secretly with the high priestess you will get some kind of intuitive download something will be revealed to you uh, with the high priestess here and to rely on your inner compass your true feelings which is most important like what you really feel inside you know in your heart in your heart mind is is your intuition uh, you know and uh, you need to, you know, trust that and not sabotage it with the five of swords. Um, that is your advice. And for the potential outcome, I see something which uh, I'm going to tell you that I see the six of cups. So things are working out. I, I feel like there is, uh, you know, a sense of either somebody is reaching out to somebody. If not, uh, there is definitely a soul mate connection that you're dealing with. With the, and clarifying this, we have justice, the devil and the page of cups. So justice here, I feel like with justice and the uh, six of cups, I feel like this is a karmic soul, like, oh, sorry, not a karmic soulmate. Could be, I, I don't know, guys, because we have, we have the justice and the devil here. And the six of cups is a past enduring energy. And this is the potential outcome. That means it's not fixed. But I definitely see, you know, with the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups. The Six of Cups, we already have somebody reaching out to somebody. Sorry about the glare, guys. And then here, what I see is the Page of Cups kind of making an offer to the devil. And I don't know who the Page of Cups is, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with. But somebody is making an offer to the devil. I feel like it's you, Sagittarius. I feel like it's you. And I tried to clarify and asked why the devil is here and, and the king of cups came out. So, you know, the, the, the page of cups is someone who is an ad admirer. So this, you could have a crush on the devil here, uh, Sagittarius, or you could just, just adore this person. But this person comes with some toxic, uh, some unhealthy... This person, I won't say this person is unhealthy, but there's something about your connection with this person that brings your energy down which is why the devil is here and you know the page of cups is someone who's naive and innocent and i see somebody offering to the devil but with the, with the justice here i feel like this has to happen you know this is this is karma and um, there is a there is a there could be a past life contract or some soul contract between you and this person this is intense so I just want to say, you know, Sagittarius, you're showing up as the fool, you're showing up as the page of cups, as the page of pentacles, really enthu. So like, it's really good. Uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, I wish you all the best and, you know, for working things out. But you do need to be mindful about what you are inviting into your life. You know, this looks like an invitation. So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. If you're still watching, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. And I will catch you again soon later. Bye.